The researches are now complete, so we can build our sawmill and our stonemason. I've created some new roads just off of the warehouse where we could potentially place these buildings down at, depending on how they look that is. Let's start off with the sawmill, and already this shape may go against my plans. I was rather hoping that all of these buildings could just come off of the road here, but of course the sawmill has a a straight road right down the center of it. Okay, we may need to change some things up for that, but how about the stonemason build? How does it fare? Okay, yes, this is a much better building. This is kind of what I was hoping they were all going to be like, with just the one entrance and exit to it, which we could then just fit in anywhere along this straight road that we have. Well, I really don't want to overthink this, so I think we'll just set the sawmill roughly around here, and I will see if I can fit the stonemason just beside. That's lining up okay there. And we do have a little bit of space to the side on this side. Let's maybe just scoot this over one. Sure, that looks okay. And we'll get Paris to then come out and construct the stonemason for us. I see Sunny out here upgrading the forester's house to level 2 at the moment. We are 83% supplied for it, about 50% done, just a few more items in for it, which I am tempted to let her finish off. Although, once we start the water sorting nonsense, then I'll regret my decision. As for Paris, they are upgrading the warehouse to level 2, which I see is already getting an extension, an upstairs. We are also over 80% supplied for it, and again, about 50% done with it. Oddly enough, pretty much the same items required. Which, again, I really don't know if I want to wait on or not. I want these new buildings up first. Paris Paris is requesting in a courier hut alongside some jungle fences at the moment, which both items I could teach to the sawmill, but for the sake of just getting these things complete, I will go make them. It's not until I'm running back to our little home here that I realise just how bloody big this colony is already getting, and also that we really need to expand out of our own home here which I may come on to today, actually. Well, here we are then. You take in a couple of those jungle fences, slabs, courier huts, everything, and go deliver them to those idiots. All right then, Clement, how are we getting on with the mine? I assume we are just removing all the cobblestone at the moment because we are maybe mining down into water. Yes, indeed we are. So this will be why he's been requesting in so much cobblestone just so that he can fill out all the water blocks underneath with it and pretty much then just get rid of the water that way. The warehouse expansion sure is pretty big actually. Lots more storage for us which is always pleasing and I believe we are just putting the roof on at the moment so this building shouldn't take much longer before it is complete. Then we can get in and build a second courier and even upgrade both of them to level 2 right after we get up the sawmill and the stonemason. Hello Forrester, doing a great job as usual I see. As is Cine, to be fair, we are 95% done with the level 2 upgrade. As long as we don't go into the water, then we will get this up pretty quick. Clement is once again requesting in more cobblestone to fill out the water down here. It is incredibly wasteful actually, maybe we should change block. Yes, instead of a fill block of cobblestone, I did see that we have plenty of gravel within our warehouse, which we might not be able to use actually. And our researchers have just unraveled the mysteries of hot. That is our smeltery actually, Alan. That'll be good. Well, if we can't select gravel, let's just go for good old dirt. And I will cancel that request at the moment, and he should then request in some dirt to get rid of the water. Well, thank you for completing that research there, James. Let's set you up with yet another one. I'm thinking of hitting iron to unlock the blacksmith's hut but we'll need an anvil, which is no issue at all, so let's start the research for that. And that should unlock in about 30 minutes time. 
but we have unlocked the smeltery which is nice and it has a fairly simple crafting recipe so let's grab out one of those oh damn the building looks interesting that is a lot of stone almost like it's coming out the water and by the looks of it just one entrance and exit to it I see you there, Diamond Ore. Cool, well, that'll be an interesting build for us to get up. There's a researcher going to drown, but we have enough on our plates with the two buildings that we've yet to start here today. Sorry that you didn't make it there to bed, James. You're also going to get killed by an ocean creeper if I can't get out here in time. But we do have these marvellous roads for a reason. So that doesn't happen. Absolute zero sympathy for that type of idiocy. Although there goes that research we just started. Well, that was Cine just finishing off with the residence level two. Thank you very much, pal. And this should give us access to yet another idiot into the colony. And brilliant, we have moved on to start the construction of the sawmill, which looks ridiculously easy to do. So with any luck, she will get this up pretty quick. And while she gets on with that, and the other idiot on with the warehouse, I think I'm going to look into expanding out our little home here, which is definitely a bit cramped, and I could be doing with more room for more botany pots. So I'm basically just going to do the same again, and place down another platform decoration, which I will construct myself. Uh, that was Paris finishing off with the level 2 warehouse, and because I've just put down this decoration, I get the feeling that he may pick it up next. No, he's picked up the stonemason. Okay, grand. I'm also going to see if we could fit in yet a fart platform, if I could get it lined up here nicely, just to connect the three together, uh, which sadly might not be possible with these platforms. Nope, unfortunately not with these platforms, but that's all right. We'll probably just make up our own platform for that area. For now though, I will go grab out a few jungle logs and we'll get started on the foundations of that platform at least. Also, the stonemason build looks to be pretty simple to construct there as well. So there's all three of us with rather simple builds to do. Mine possibly the easiest of the lot, which is ideal for me, seeing as I do need to switch between my goggles and my sunglasses, which will remove my water breathing effect. So I'll need to construct these pillars underwater as quick as I can before I drown. Now for the easy, tedious part, just placing in all of the jungle slabs, and then to just go around the perimeter of it with some acacia fences. Uh, which I'm not going to do actually. That's me just blindly following these schematics here, although I will put some just in the corners. What I want to put in instead are some of those connected glass blocks, which are simple enough to make so long as I have sand. Bloody thunderstorm. Yeah, we'll just surround the perimeter with this clear glass. I think it works so much better. Looking not too bad so far. Just the roof left, although before we do finish that off, I need to go cancel that decoration order. I don't want those idiots coming out and basically deconstructing what I've just done there. Some more jungle slabs on top, and that is this little crappy project pretty much complete. They are basic, but whenever we upgrade the other buildings around the colony, I will come out and upgrade these a bit further. We'll get some lovely white concrete into our builds here as well. And eventually some nice thatch roofing. But for now, just the shit. There we are then, our little basic home now complete. I'll head over and see how our other idiots are getting on in just a moment. Um, good. I don't think they've done much of anything. Ugh. I suppose I better come out and help then, shouldn't I? And I think that was a stone mason just been completed there. Oh holy crap, he actually got that up pretty quick. I was too busy mucking around with the new build that we have, and I see a piglin inside it. No, no thank you sir, please get out. Well, I said that they got it up quick, I actually put a lot of my own effort into getting these buildings up, 
but that is at least the stone mason up and I think this building was quicker to construct than that sawmill over there purely because the platform we're on is pretty much situated on top of the water so we don't have that really annoying water sorting that they do at the end of their builds. I assume we don't have any spare idiot to become our stonemason. No, sadly not. We do need more housing up. Right, well, Paris, why don't you come in and build a new courier for us, which we also don't have anyone spare to become a courier in it. And whilst you're at it, why not come over here and upgrade the other one to level 2? That looks a ridiculously quick build. Or just stand about Paris, that's equally as acceptable. In fact, the courier is also just floating around. Did someone die? Uh, oh yeah, the researcher dude. Oh, that's a shame. And also explains why that blacksmith research hasn't been completed yet. I was wondering about that. The colony has 10 or 15 idiots within it, so we can definitely hire more. It's just if we have any suitable visitor that isn't going to cost an arm and a leg to hire. Which sadly we don't. Oh no, hold on actually. Grizel here only wants 17 hay bales. I'm sure that we can handle that. Right then Grizel, welcome in. You go pick up a job as... Maybe the stonemason? Uh, or not. They have become the researcher, which is absolutely fine. So eventually we'll get that blacksmith research complete. And now Daniel has spawned in and wants recruited for 33 redstone dust. Again, simple enough. We've got plenty of redstone, but there was the fisherman just drowned. I am literally trying to repopulate this place. You chaps drowning yourselves needlessly is not helping. Right, Daniel, welcome in. Go become a fisherman. Then drown yourself. Why not? Everyone else is doing it. Or really, even with the tavern and all of the houses that we have, we still have a homeless idiot. So we can recruit up to 15 citizens, but we will need more housing for them. Uh, which we can do right after we get the sawmill up. Paris is requesting in some light blue carpets for the courier hut upgrade. I have no idea what she's doing. So here you go then, friend. You take those in and get that upgraded to level 2. Cine, you are supposed to be upgrading the whatever you're doing at the moment please stop playing in the water you're supposed to be doing the sawmill that's what you're supposed to be doing hurry up i don't think she quite knows what she's doing here either i thought i was helping by making a platform to build on clearly not well at least someone's doing something for us even if their upgrade was ridiculously easy and i believe that's him away to start the next upgrade which will be to the new courier hut meanwhile at least this idiot has begun to actually place down some platforms so we will eventually get the sawmill up 20 years later, after we got the stone mason up at least. I believe the miner has won his battle with the water table underneath him. We are using dirt as a filler which is good, and we are continuing to mine further down. Just out of curiosity, how far down are we at the moment? Okay, that goes quite deep. I am satisfied with your progress there, Clement. You are doing a good job whenever you do work. And finally, there's our researchers completed hitting iron. That is our blacksmith build. And I believe that's all of the level 1 university automation builds that we've now unlocked. We will need to upgrade the university to level 2 just to go for some more of these type of automation buildings, as well as construct and upgrade some of the new buildings that we just unlocked. Plenty of time for all of that. I see that Paris has nearly finished off with the new courier set. We are doing some water clearing. And I see that Cine is also pretty much done with the sawmill, finally. Just a shame that we still don't have any spare idiot to become our new courier. 
or even no carpenter or stonemason for that fact. Yeah, we'll need to spend a bit of time placing down some more housing or even upgrading the ones we have to level 3. That could be an option. I have another potential new recruit for us. Uh, Euphrit? Euphrit? I have no idea how you say that name. Welcome in then, weirdo. Go pick up a job. There are plenty for you. A carpenter might suit you. Or courier. We are actually getting quite lucky with all the new citizens here. All the new visitors becoming citizens. You've become a knight. As long as they don't request in anything too stupid, then we will absolutely recruit them in. I may change her from a knight, actually. Yeah, we really don't need too many knights around here. The thing that keeps killing our idiots are mainly themselves and drowning. A stonemason or a carpenter would be nice for you to pick up. Well, not the carpenter, because we still haven't got this complete yet. I said no to being a knight, and I'm also saying no to being an archer. Come on you, that's more like it. And a saw point achievement. Finally, we've done the sawmill. That only took years to complete. I've set Sunny the work order of upgrading her own house to level three, so she'll make a start on that. I see a researcher stuck underneath the forester's build. Good. But it is nice having the sawmill up and the stonemason just next door for all of our wood and stone related needs. Finally, proper automation for the colony. All we're going to require in are some idiots to actually do it for us.